What's going on, Bruce? Ladies and gentlemen, Pokey Positivity. <clears throat> I want to talk about Pokey Positivity. And I want to start a movement. Not really. It's just for me. It's just to keep myself in line. The Possum Bud started this. I'm just going to grab the baton and run way farther than he could have ever imagined with it. And here's what I'm talking about. Pokey Positive Content. It's not September yet. There's no reason we can't start just a little bit early. It's almost September. But the entire month of September, I am going to exercise pokey positivity. That's right. Positive pokey content. I'm... I cannot tell you how bad. How freaking bad. I want to make a twice baked Jake drama video. That shit was some of the most absurd shit I have ever seen on YouTube. Oh, you know what? Here's Here it is. I'm going to do my twice baked drama video in like 30 seconds right here now. And that way I can get over it. If you are a Pokemon TCG content viewer on, on YouTube and you're watching Twice Baked Jake content, you know what first edition means, okay? The fact that he's teaching his own fan base the difference between first edition and unlimited blows my mind, especially he's teaching it because he wants you guys to screw each other over. Um, it's a fast, just go watch a Possum Butter Rock Sandy's video and just remember how weird it would be if a guy like Danny Phantom made that exact same video i have no idea what i'm doing or anyone else other than twice baked jake for that matter for some reason twice baked jake gets away with assuming his fan base are some of the dumbest least educated okay i'm done i'm done guys this week's hottest cards all right so here's the thing big changes i've been talking a lot about you guys viewers in the comment section all that and how much power you guys have to influence things in this niche because it's such a tight niche you guys have a way bigger voice than you realize blah 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 and here's an example last week's hottest cards of the week someone in my comment section said hey uh mimic brew can you freaking please throw up the pictures of the cards when you talk about them referring to the last week's hard, hottest cards list and guess what I'm gonna just keep him anonymous just you know I want to keep everything positive positivity I want to put any stuff on screen but yes this week we absolutely when I get to last week's hottest cards you're gonna get a, a screenshot of every single card in case you don't know what card it is all right and other side note uh, I now have this all in a, a playlist which why would you want to watch outdated last week's uh, this week's cards of the weeks from last week's and prior weeks? I don't know. Maybe to look up the best deal bangers because the best deal bangers we've been spot on week in and week out for going on three months. All right, but let's get to it. Let's get to last week's hottest cards. All right. Was that too long of an intro? I'm trying to get better at wasting your guys' time. All right. So as I said, there's a big blank spot on this screen now, and the reason there's a blank spot is because you get a visual aid to go with all these cards. All right, let's get to it. So, Armored Mewtwo SM228, as you can see right there, has been on this list for like a freaking month and a half. He went sideways, hence why he was yellow last week. But guess what? He's up again. Okay, so Armored Mewtwo, Mewtwo SM222 right there. Eevee Unigaba, this card again, just week in and week out for one, two, three, four, five, six straight weeks has been going up. Mine him from not paldea that's paradox that's a typo let's just say par uh is now what is this coming up on a month in a row and just fyi plus is also doing very good plus is actually at 13 dollars plus is not on the list because he dipped down and so he fell off the list but both plus and minum are still going very strong greninja the big baddie from the era down a little okay and i would definitely want to keep it on the list because i think we're all interested in seeing what is going on with greninja Wellspring Mask Ogre, Ogre Pond for Twilight Masquerade. That's, that's uh, you know, it's pretty flat. I'll probably knock that off the list. Mew EX SIR from Paldean Fates. This card is now up to an all-time high, just like last week was an all-time high. This is quickly becoming a lot of people's favorite Mew card, and that's saying something because there are some amazing, amazing Mews, i.e. Koro Cora. That's my favorite Mew card is the Koro Cora. All right, so Pikachu IR from 151. It was at an all-time high last week, but this week it dropped back down to 20 bucks. So that'll be falling off. Mew EX, the Radiant Collection from Legendary Treasures. This card is up to a one-year high. And again, I have that card right there, right in the middle, dead spot, center, top of the pillar right there, because it's one of my favorite Mew cards of all time. All right, so SV base set, we got Gardevoir SIR. This is now the number one chase card, at least 
this week uh, over, uh, what's her face, Miriam. Glue my R, my favorite stage one Pokemon from Obsidian Lanes. It's sideways, so, you know, unless it goes up next week, I'm probably going to knock it off the list. Charmander IR from S uh, 151 back down to 30, so I'll knock that off the list. Ninetales EX Full Art. This one had a big gain last week, and it's sideways. May or may not knock off the list. Roaring Moon EX SIR from last week up just barely a little. Just barely a little, but it's definitely staying on the list. Why? Because it's my, my, favorite, my favorite SIR from this era, and it is up just a little. There's another Roaring Moon EX on this week's list. Stay tuned for that. Sinchino. Sinchino's down. Sinchino's going to fall off. Iron, Throne, Iron Thorns EX Full Art from Twilight Masquerade. This thing shot up huge because it got the dub at Worlds. It's down just a little, so it's probably falling off. Pheasantipity, the dabbing bird. The dabbing bird is back down to what it started out day one. So it was at 15, it shot up to 20, now it's back down to 15. So it's, it's see you later, Pheasantipity. Garchomp V Trainer Gallery, one of my favorite trainer galleries from Astro Ratings. Uh, it's sideways. We'll see if it falls off. It might might be here next week. Might not. Blastoise EX XY122 Black Star promo. That main looking card with the Gary and the Vaporeon, the even meaner Gary. It's down just a little. Uh, I'll probably knock it off if I need room. It's gonna. I'm definitely gonna knock it off. Mimikyu Secret Rare. This is just a banger ten dollar card from a banger set. Cosmic Eclipse. It's sideways. We'll see what happens. And then last week's best prize banger was uh, Pikachu Baby Shiny. I told you guys it basically is under $30 for like the first time since two weeks after release. And, you know, I hope you jumped on it because now it's back up to 31 going up to 32 You know, when I say these things, I try to time these best deal bangers as good as I can for you because, you know, I really want you guys to get these best deal bangers when they're at their best deal. And, you know, just because you didn't get it under 29 you know, at $29.40 last week and it's back up to 32 that doesn't mean it's going to fly back up to 45 It could go back down to 29 It can go down to 25 and go down to 20 But just, again, it's back up over 30 and that was last week's best deal. Banger. All right. Are you guys ready for this week's hottest cards? I am. Let's keep it positive. All right. Here we go. Why are the cards yellow? All right, so this week we're going to start with Crown Zenith rather than Scarlet and Violet base set like I usually do, mainly because there are a couple Crown Zenith cards on this list, at least one. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, because of Ashley, because she was harassing me about my voice, I'm going to try to constantly just just magically have more inflection in my voice from now on, a little bit higher squeaks. Uh, uh, I just don't want to sound boring and monotone, okay? So, all right, it, let's get this ball rolling. So, Deoxys. VMAX from Crown Zenith. So look at this, guys. On the one month, it's down from as low as 14 bucks. It's up to 17 even. Looks pretty cool to me. So this, this, uh, I, you know, I used to like the other one more, but now I think I like this one more. So as you look at the one year, it's essentially at a one year high. It, it, 1759 was its one year high during that little bubble, but it is clearly going right back up to its high. And that is Deoxys VMAX guest starring Orbeetle. All right, let's go to the other Crown Zenith card. Secret Rare. All right, Crown Zenith Pikachu Secret Rare. So there's a reason this is on the list, and it has to do with this thing I've been telling you about that was a new update uh, with... Uh, is my voice going up and down? I don't want to forget and get monotone. Okay, Average Daily Sold. There's 20 copies Average Daily Sold. And if you hover over the price graph, and you look right here... Where is it at? There was 100... Where am I at? I swear, there was like 150 copies sold over a chunk. Where is that? There it is, 121. So between August 24th and August 26th, 121 copies with an average daily sold on just the one month of 20 as opposed to 16 on the three months. So you can see how you can utilize this volume chart, this average daily sold to figure out if the card's really moving and changing hands a lot. So uh, by the way, so it's up to 881. But overall, if you look at it high and then low, but then just in the last few weeks, a ton of copies have been go gobbled up, and it's up on the one month, 13%, up to 881. And I'm just saying this card is getting bought up way more than usual or historically over the last few months. And that's another reason I have it on this list, is just because the amount of copies sold is a lot more than I'm used to seeing when I do these videos. All right, let's get into base set now. Scarlet and Violet base set, Riolu, everybody loves this card. Check this out. 
Let's go to the one month and then work our way out. It's on the one month high at 11 and 11, 11, 11. Three months, it's, it, there you go. Six month, <clears throat> the farther out you go, the more you can see this card is growing. So from April to now, all you see is that beautiful uptrend on that chart. That's Riolu, and again, that is $11.11. Now let's go to Paldea. There's always Paldea cards. Sprigatito. So Sprigatito is on the one month at $14.92. It's actually $15.06 is its high on the one month. But again, let's zoom out because all you see is uptrend and higher lows on Sprigatito. So Sprigatito on the six month, way, way high. On the one year, way, way high. It's been as low on the one year as, uh, what is that, $8? It's almost double $8. It's, it, you know, it's, it's doing very good, Sprigatito. Beautiful card. Beautiful card in the garden. All right, now for the first time making this list, a new Paldea IR for the first time, and that's Tinka Tough. Tinka Tough. Tink, tinka, how do you, how would, Tinka Tough. No, that's that's Jigglypuff. You can't, I can't steal that. Tinka Tough has to have its own sound. All right, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll come up with the sound effect for Tinka Tough. But we got 9, 29. There's your one month chart right there. You see a big old, big old jump up on the week. Let's go three month. There you go. Six month. There you go. But I want to go to the one year. So one year from basically the beginning of the year. See higher lows, higher lows. And then this week, a massive little jump up. And it has uh, an average daily sold of three, so not near as much as that Secret Rare Pikachu. But big time, big time jump just this week for Tinker Tough. All right, now let's get into a big boy. So Scarlet and Violet 151, Zardy Boy, check this out. It's at $128, guys. $128 was a seven, seven copies average daily sold. And I'm gonna go straight to the one year. Because on the one year, you can see its highest ever is 134. But when you look at the six month, again, just uh, four months ago, it was 102. And you just see gradually up, uptrend, uptrend, uptrend. And a card like this, you know, to be a year, a year later, and it's doing essentially better than it was doing a month after release, this is a very, very strong side uh, sign for this Charizard card literally about to crack 130 for the time frame since it's been over a year i think the fact that it's been over a year plus it's about to crack 130 with all the graded copies at psa this card is still gaining in value people still love this card all right so there you go the fat boy's already from 151 is up to almost 130 bucks now giovanni's charisma Let's be honest, certain trainer cards, certain full art trainers, certain Team Rocket-esque cards are probably going to start going up at least a little bit over the next three months, okay? Hint, hint, towards my best deal banger at the end of the video. But Giovanni's Charisma right now is at a $11.11. And you can see that it's just kind of... Here, I want to go out real quick. I want to go out. Because when you go out, you can see it had a big sell-off. But then right around June, it's just starting to look safer and safer and safer. Basically April, $8, and then here we are at 11. But again, I always say higher lows if they are there, because higher lows do matter. They create support lines, and they make it a lot easier to buy the card. And here's another thing, guys. This copy of Full Art Giovanni's Charisma has 10 average daily sold. And every time you hear this average daily sold, just know, the number sounds like not very much, but it actually is more than you would think, okay? So for Giovanni's Charisma to, on the sixth month, be looking that good, plus have 10 average daily sold, I think that is a very strong sign for this card over the next six months or so, especially just over the next six months. All right, so Roaring Moon EX. So we already covered the SIR from last week. This guy is up big, big time on the week specifically. If you look here, it's at $4.81, up from a low of under $2. It's more than doubled. You just see a gradual, and look at this. This is a, I don't know if my screen's gonna cut it off or not, but maybe you can see that the average daily sold is 29. If, if my screen does cut it off, I'm sorry, I'll try to make it so it doesn't. Uh, but 30, so this is a very playable card. Uh, it sounds like this card did very well at Worlds, probably, you know, not, as well as Iron Thorns that last week we showed spiked up big time. 
but for a, a bulk EX card to now be worth $5, that is some, you know, easy money for you if you're not a player. So there you go. And then again, here's a three month chart. Just You can totally see how the amount of copies, the blue bar, you can see there's a huge demand in Roaring Moon, right? Literally after Worlds essentially. And now you can see how it's doubled in price just by looking at that volume bar. And then of course, the three month bar. So there you go. You can see not a lot of volume, not a lot of uh, copies purchased, and you see a ton of copies. Move out of my way. But the light blue bars are volume bars, okay? Behind the chart itself, behind the line graph. All right, let's get to Sword and Shield. And guys, it, there was a huge bubble, okay? And this is my advice, and this is something I'm, uh, I'm gonna do. By the way, you guys, you know, that wonder if I, I do this stuff. I, I literally did just post a My Pokemon Collection video on Sunday. I'll link it at the end of this video. I'm um, just showing that I do spend a lot of money on cards. Just today, I went out and I bought a bunch more cards. Um, but that, that video is there for you, and I'll have it linked at the end of the video. So, Starmie and all the Sword and Shield Trainer Galleries. I just want to talk about it for a sec. First of all, it's at $50.65. You can see on the one-month chart, it had a... It had a low of, uh, what was that, 40? I just remembered I'm supposed to make my inflection change. I'm not sure if I sound monotone or not. 44, and it's up to 50. So here's the thing. There was that big old bubble a couple months ago, and now things started to come down, but now is what I'm getting at. Now is where a lot of the stuff is plateauing and starting to go up again. So I'm just saying, if you were a good boy or a good girl, and you turned your brain off to all this inflated sword and shield hits that you wanted, now might be a good time to start turning your brain back on to these cards because these cards are starting to develop very nice support lines and they're honestly a lot of the more popular ones are starting to trend back upwards including this starmy v as you can see here on the one month chart up from 42 all the way up to 50. okay let's get into another zardy boy so this is charizard ex is a black star promo from xy it's xy 121 and here's a perfect example of low volume and the way it makes a chart look. And then you could even reference the light blue bars behind the chart. So we have on the one month, $53.45. It says average daily sold only one copy. The reason I'm still including this is one as a teaching tool for the volume bars and the line graph. But you can see when something has low volume and it's going up, it creates a stair step on the chart right there. And the reason I'm still gonna bring you this card is because of the three, six, and the one. So on the three month, you see very gradual uptrend from $36 up to 52 bucks. On the six month, look at that. We had a plateau at 35 and we had that huge uptrend. You look on the one year, it looks incredible for the last few months. This card is doing outstanding this year. It just suffers from low volume. It's only so many cards, so many people, you know, it's just one of those things. But this card is up massively on the year, and especially in the last month, all right? But bear in mind, when you see stair steps, that's just low volume, okay? And I try not to bring you guys too many low volume cards. I want to give you popular cards, high volume, frequently traded cards. All right, so Reggie Drago V-Star, you might remember this from two weeks ago, along with the other regular full art. Both of those were up massive leading in to Worlds, and then both of these tanked big time after worlds but then this one went back up so let me show you what i'm talking about so look at that so first of all it's at 2077 so here's going into worlds it goes way way up here let's let's see how up it was like a five dollar card literally okay and then it went all the way up to 20 bucks and then worlds happened and it tanked massively but then now worlds is done and it's all the way back up to an even newer high so this Reggie Drago V-Star, not the regular full art, which is sitting around $11, it tanked and it stayed there, which is still amazing because that card before Worlds was $2. So the fact that the regular full art is $11 is still very good. It's just this secret rare version from Silver Tempest is doing vastly, vastly better. And it's continued to do better. So there you go. So there, there's Reggie Drago V-Star secret rare. All right, what do we got here? Pikachu and Zekrom GX. This is a Sun and Moon promo. We had an XY promo, now we have a Sun and Moon promo. Beautiful, badass looking card in Zekrom. Zekrom's just so cool. So again, this is another lighter volume card. It says it has an average daily sold to two. But as you can see on the one month, it is down from 24 up to 29.53, okay? 
it is on a three month high it is on a six month high just barely cracked its old six month high and it is on a one year high so this card is more valuable this year than it's ever been and you know look at that card i i would love to own this card i might put this on my list to go buy it's just god i just love zach rom and who doesn't love pikachu and they go so freaking well together all right so in in keeping with the team rocket and the trainer stuff i i wanted to find a uh well actually i just found this and then you know i was like oh well, that makes sense so now it's time for the best deal banger the best price banger of the week and that is from Rebel Trash. That's right. That's Boss's Orders, the chase card from Boss's Orders. <clears throat> so Rebel Clash, I'm going to explain to you why it is the best deal banger. So first of all, in the one month, you can see it's doing terrible. And that is part of the point of the best deal bangers. I try to get you a card at its like lowest of its low, basically. But you look at the six month. Actually, you know, look at the one year. So what I see here is tons of support between the 30, 33 and 35 this card has a history of support lines around the 33 to 35 and it's been as high recently up to 45 dollars just in the last few months so right now it is at 35 it's at these support lines not a lot of volume going way down but again this is the chase card from a sword and shield set and we have team rocket sets coming out or a well, i guess english japanese team rocket sets coming out we have the return of trainer cards Boss's orders, all of them across the board lately have been doing very well. Not like crazy, but holding value. All the boss's orders, I guess boss's orders is just very popular right now, maybe in the TCG. But this card, to get it for $33 or $35, I think that there's very, very low risk involved in buying this Rebel Trash Chase card. And in fact, who, who wouldn't be surprised if this card goes up in value over the next six months just because all the Team Rocket hoopla and hype and FOMO and all that kind of crap. That's just kind of the way that this TCG works. Let's be honest. It's just people try to find value and similar and like things. All right, by the way, we're done. That's it, guys. Remember, Poke Positivity, that's something I'm going to be exercising quite a lot more, especially in the month of September. And yeah, just, uh, you know, it never hurts to be a little overly poke positive and so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna do that okay but i can't make any promises if, if something crazy happens i'm gonna have to make a drama video it just is what it is anyway guys uh i hope you like this one i'll be back uh with my next one in a few days and yeah enjoy your weekend like comment and subscribe deuces